So in the second part of uh, this lecture on planes in space, we will take a look at the intersection of two planes. In general, if two planes are not parallel, they will intersect and their intersection will be a straight line. So let's have a look at uh, an example. Yeah. So example. Uh, find the intersection, the line of intersection of the planes, the following two planes, x plus y plus 2z is equal to 3, that's the first plane, and the second plane has the equation x minus 2y plus z equal to 7. So I want to have a look at these two planes and find their intersection. So what we're going to do is uh, consider these as two equations, 1 and 2. We will do, uh, basically, we perform the following uh, operation. We use 1 uh, minus 2. Equation 1 minus equation 2. Uh, to eliminate, we will do that to eliminate the variable x. To eliminate x. So we'll end up with 3y. And then 2z uh, minus z, so plus z. Equal to 3 minus 7, which is minus 4. From here, we can get z as a function of the variable y. So we get z equal to minus 3y minus 4. Now, taking y now as a parameter, so we'll take the y as a parameter. So taking y equal to t, this will give, will give us z equal to minus 3t plus 4. And then I need to get x by substitution either in the equation 1 or equation 2. So we now substitute in, let's say, equation 1 to find x also as a function of t, to find x. So we will get x plus y, which is t, and then plus 2 times the z, which is minus 3t plus 4, and this is equal to 3, like this, which basically gives us x, we just do... Uh, some basic operations there and we take everything to the right side except x and we get x equal 5t plus 11. So therefore, the equation of the line of intersection, equation of the line of intersection, In parametric form will be x equal 5t plus 11, y is equal to t, and z equal minus 3t plus 4, and this, where t is the parameter, it's basically any real number like this. Here, we will take a look at uh, another question that uh, may uh, arise, which is finding the distance from a point to a plane. So you have a, a plane in space like this, and its equation is uh, given. And we have a point P somewhere in space also. So its coordinates x1, y1, uh, Z1, and I want to find the distance from this point to the plane. So I want this distance here. 
Well, there's a basically a simple formula for this. So the distance from P to the plane, from the point to the plane, is given by the following uh, formula. So it's the absolute value of a x1. So we replace x, y, z by the coordinates of the point uh, P here. So plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d. So the absolute value. Divide that by the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So that is the distance from the point to the plane. So let's see uh, an example of that. So example. So find the distance from the point Okay, so let's 1 minus 1, 2 to the plane whose equation is 2x plus 3y minus z equal to 8. Okay, so then um, the first step the first step here is really to bring the 8 uh, to the side so it becomes uh, so the plane equation is make it equal to zero like this and then we say the distance will be absolute value of two times so these x y and z now we replace them with the coordinates of the point so it's going to be two times one yeah plus 3 times y, which is a minus 1, and then uh, minus the coordinate z, which is 2, minus 8, absolute value of all of this, over the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 1 squared, like this. So that would be the distance. And if we do the calculations, uh, 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 8, and we have the absolute value of that, so it's going to be 11 over the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 1 squared, that will be 14. So it's the answer is this, or 11 square root of 14 over 14. So that will be the distance from the point to the plane. And finally, we will uh, finish this uh, section by looking at the distance between two parallel planes. So find the distance between these two planes. Yeah, we have a plane here and we have a second plane. They are parallel because you can see that they have the same normal vector, 2, minus 1, 1. Uh, so I want to find the distance between them, okay? So we have one plane here and another one which is parallel to it. Well, the idea here is to first take a point from the first plane, yeah? Let's say this is our plane P1, the first plane. Find one point on it and then find the distance from this point to the plane P2 by using the rule that we just uh, saw previously. Okay, so first, find the point on the plane P1. Doesn't matter which point you take because the distance, the distances are always, are all the same. So, for example, I can take x equals zero, y equals 0, and then substitute, that will give us z equal 10. So I'm getting the point P, 
zero, zero, 10. So that's the first step. Second step then is find the distance from this point P yeah, to the plane P2. So then find the distance from P to the plane, the second plane basically, the plane P2. So that distance D, I can now use the rule. It's the absolute value of 2 times 0. Yeah, so I now go here, substitute x, y, z with the coordinates of the point P. So it's going to be 2, z, two times 0 uh, minus uh, 0, okay, plus 10 minus 6, all of this absolute value, divide that by the square root of 2 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 1 squared. And this calculation uh, will give us 4 over, so it's going to be 4 over the square root of 6. Okay, so square root of 6, uh, either this or we can rationalize the denominator. So it's 2 square root of 6 over 3. And that is the distance uh, between the two parallel planes.